Hi friends, uh, this is another Twin Flame Journey video and I am particularly doing this video on request of a client and friend from Australia. Uh, she wanted uh, me to speak on uh, this topic and uh, I told her that instead of speaking I would rather make a video so all of my other viewers also get benefit from this. So the topic that she wanted me to discuss was that how in 3D friends and acquaintances uh, affect the twin flame journey you know we all know that we have friends some people have few friends some people have more friends some people are more gregarious you know so she wanted me to discuss how in 3d the twin flame journey is uh, affected by various friendships that we have um, so uh, beginning with that uh, I would like to say that uh, you know friends and acquaintances are very important in our life as uh, every human being is more or less a social being um, there are very few people who want to live as loners, but uh, even with loners, they are their own friend, you know. Uh, so friendship is a very important aspect of our society. Now, coming with the twin flame journey, most or uh, few of our friends might not even have any inclination or any knowledge about this twin flame journey. So it becomes very, uh, it becomes almost very painful because people kind of in the 3D, they kind of thwart your journey they uh, make fun of you they will call you crazy they will think that oh you don't get any other men or any other women that is why you're just sticking to this one this is these are some of the 3d things that you will get you know you will get a lot of sarcasm from people um you will get a lot of uh, you know uh, maybe she's just foolish or maybe he's just foolish you know uh, he's with this imaginary lover who's not there but still they are so committed and stuff so these are some of the 3d things that your friends will throw at you uh, now uh, see you cannot uh, the uh, the consequent reaction that you can give is you cannot throw stones at every dog that barks you know is what I would like to teach you on this twin flame journey regarding these friendship 3d issues so you cannot throw stones at every dog that barks on your journey to anything and any kind of success is always uh, obstacled by these kind of 3d things any kind of success it's not just the twin flame journey any kind of occupational success any kind of personal success any kind of uh, good family life is always going to have these dogs barking at you you know um, so this is one aspect and uh, I have discussed this negative aspect first and I've told you what all you will go through people will call you crazy People are going to call you foolish, people are going to call you dim-witted, people are going to call you unintelligent, people are going to call you uh, too attached, people are going to call uh, out your low self-esteem, maybe that is why you're sticking to this one lover, you know, and you're not like, you know, and uh, also because a lot of this is kind of mythological and philosophical, a lot of people are going to call you, maybe you're gone mad or, you know, you should see a psychiatrist or a psychologist a lot of of those things you are going to come uh, forward and also a lot of jealousy issues from friends are going to come forward as much as they know that this is something foolish that you're doing in 3d they also envy you because they are not getting that intense deep experience and they can't understand why that guy or that woman is giving you so much intense love you know uh, because as you might be describing to your friends you know how the emotional the sexual intimacy is they're going to even give you vibes of jealousy and vibes of hatred they're going to talk amongst themselves that oh you know she's foolish or she has low self-esteem or he has low self-esteem that is why she he is you know while during 3d separation they're going to mock you but in their hearts they're also going to feel jealous because the connection is so intense and you are going you are getting to experience this connection you know so they're going to feel uh, jealous too uh, and then secondly i would go uh, into the positive aspects of uh, uh, these friendships so what i feel is there will be some friends uh, very soft hearted very sincere friends who will who will believe in you although they don't know what your what what this is all about and you know they don't have time enough to go through the articles or you know what the journey is like but they will uh, uh, they will somehow support you you know they will feel for you they will feel for your sadness you know and uh, uh, I can give you an example. Uh, I had both. I had both negative friends and positive friends. There were negative friends and how I dealt with them was that uh, 
you know uh, i never told them the whole part of the story when i was in 3d separation or when i was going through hard times uh, i always used to tell them uh, when they used to inquire oh so how's your relationship going with him i always used to tell them it's going very nicely you know he's so nice because let's face it i was always with him in 3d there was no separation in uh, uh, i was always with him in 5d there was no separation in 5d so why should i tell my friends who actually want some uh, you know want some saucy detail or want some salt and pepper why should i tell them that you know uh, we are not together currently i never did you know because those people are the ones who want some food you know from you they don't have that food in their own life so they want that food from you so i would uh, the way i dealt with those friends is i never told them you know that uh, i was in a 3d separation i just told them oh we are doing great and you know he's awesome and i'm awesome and uh, we are doing great on on this you know in this relationship for them it was just a relationship they had no idea about twin flames and twin flame union and how this relationship is so different so i chose to give them what they wanted you know i just chose to give them 3d details and that was like you know and i never whenever i used to meet them i used to make some kind of excuse you know or i i also used to tell them that you know he brings me such nice gifts and stuff like that when ne that never used to happen you know but i used to tell them you know this is one way of handling those kind of people and then going towards the positive aspect i ha also had positive friends you know uh, a very few of them but they were there and they believed in my journey although they didn't know anything about the twin flame concept uh, and one very sweet thing one of my close friends did was that she said that oh we have like we have idol worship in indian countries you know in eastern countries also uh, we have uh, you know we pray to many gods and stuff so she was like you know when we are praying to an idol it's just made out of stone but it's the belief in that god that we even pray to that stone god you know uh, that stone image of god you know uh, so it's she said it's the same you know you have belief in it you trust this this stuff you know even though i feel that you know this is something weird or something you still trust it and if i just correlate it with praying to an idol god you know which we all do in some way or the other like somebody prays to jesus somebody prays to another god somebody prays to lord buddha somebody believes in whatever so uh, many of them are human and uh, like or god incarnates but like mostly with mythology uh, there are some countries which just follow stone idol gods and some people feel that it's just mythology and those gods never existed so she was just giving an example i'm not going into the religious aspect too much over here but she was just giving an example that you know that is also just like it's just like a form of belief a form of very strong belief and faith which leads people to feel that this idol god can solve my problems so she said your twin journey is the same you know you believe in that twin journey and i hope that you will meet him soon in 3d you know so there were those kind of friends too so folks friends can be both i know that you're going to encounter a lot of negative friends on the way and i've already told you what they're going to make you go through so be strong and handle it in whatever way you your soul tells you to handle it like i handle it by not telling my friends that you know we are not uh, like you know we are going through a 3d phase of um, uh, you know energetic separation i just told them we are always together because uh, let's face it in 5d we were you know so you can handle it in that way or you can tell them less details of your life you can keep to yourself it might feel that you're living alone or you know you've become very alone on this journey but when even when you're alone you'll be doing a lot of inner shadow work a lot of inner work on yourself you'll be progressing so much on your own that you will in the future you when you will look back you in hindsight you will also see that you, that alone time apart from friends did you a lot of good you know so please do that and with the positive friends you'll find a lot of hope and happiness with those kind of friends so share some details with them um uh, i would also like to tell you that you can't share everything with everybody because they will feel dragged down even the good friends or the positive friends they can't listen to all the details because they also don't know everything about the journey so the best person to talk to at this time is somebody in a common twin groups you know somebody who are going through the journey themselves so have a meet up with them or have a phone chat or whatever you can you know think of those are the best friends at this time you know people who are going through the same journey themselves you know or have completed their journey they can be guides or teachers to you so also take their support paid or otherwise um and then uh, i would also like to tell you that sometimes what we create outside in our life let's say how our friends are behaving with us 
is what we have inside let's say we ourselves feel that the journey is so weird or crazy or whatever and negative and i'm going through all this uh, you know all this drama in uh, 3d and uh, you know my only connection is telepathy or 5d and what a weird stuff it is if we are feeling that way ourselves inside we'll be creating the same stuff outside what i mean is outside we'll be meeting the same kind of people who will give us the same stuff back what we are thinking as inside so outside you know that's what the law of attraction says so if i'm thinking oh that friend uh, i i'm fearing meeting that friend because maybe today she'll uh, just throw some uh, throw some more shit at me by saying that oh you're so weird you're doing all this if you're already thinking that we are pre-paving our way towards actually meeting that friend and she might might be thinking of saying or doing something else with us but she's going to do and say the same things as we imagined or as we visualized you know so also look into your inner self at this time how you want your family or friends to react to this you know how you are thinking that they will react you might just be assuming stuff and they might be more understanding than what you might have felt about them you know about this journey you know so they might be more understanding but it might be your inner own inner self that might be thinking that oh they're going to say this or say that and you might be fearing meeting them and it might you might actually be creating those harsh or negative uh, stuff that your friends do to you so always keep that in mind too and also work on your inner self before you label somebody as good or bad and uh, helping you or not helping you on this journey and then another point i want to discuss is that uh, maybe your friends being very hurtful or not understanding or uh, being so nasty with you on this journey because they don't understand it maybe this is also a part of the journey you know maybe this is also meant to teach you that when you're alone and when you have to be a pillar of strength for your own self how does that feel because maybe in the future you're going to need it you know maybe in the future for any other area of your life let's say your occupation or your business or anything else maybe you're going to need this kind of a thing where you are on your own and nobody else understands you so maybe this is also a part of the journey you know think about it that way maybe the twin journey that is given to us by the divine also has this aspect in it that you know uh, you have to stand on your own feet and because your friends are mocking you or uh, treating you harshly maybe you decide to stay on your own by yourself in this journey and during that time you also learn how to stand up by yourself you know people who have self esteem issues and self worth issues so you know uh, it could be another another lesson that the divine apart from the twin journey is going to give us on this twin journey so think about the positive aspects and think about how you can create a good internal life you know a good internal thought so that what you get in the outside in your world is the exact match to what you're creating inside secondly there are positive people too who have helped me like i gave you an example so there might be positive people in your life also who are waiting to give you support and thirdly this might just be a part of the journey this this harsh bad treatment from your friends might just be a part of the journey and it is meant to teach you something you know so take everything in stride this twin flame journey is wonderful beautiful and uh, take it for what it is make it the most positive that you can you know the most positive you can and stop your only responsibility is towards yourself stop making other people feel responsible for how you feel or where your happiness lies because your happiness lies in your own heart and it is time that you do inner shadow work or inner work and bring out that heart centered energy that happiness and that compassion thank you